Australia and New Zealand, my name is Caroline O'Donoghue. I'm the author of All Our Hidden Gifts, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about it today. So All Our Hidden Gifts is the story of Maeve Chambers, who's a 16-year-old girl living in Ireland um, who isn't having a great time at school, either in educationally or socially, um, and she comes across this pack of tarot cards. She gets really good at the reading her tarot very quickly. She starts reading for everybody in school, but things kind of grind to a halt when she ends up giving a pretty bad, spooky, terrible, traumatizing reading to her ex-best friend, Lily O'Callaghan. Now she thinks she can repair all this until Lily immediately goes missing after the reading. And the book is a series about how she tries to get Lily back using the same means with which she made her disappear. My personal experience with tarot is, um, well, when I was about 25, which was five years ago, um, I started learning it in earnest. I was always very interested in it. I always used to buy decks when I saw them. And, you know, I've always been very interested in Wicca and spiritualism just generally. But when I started learning it in earnest, I realized that the pattern of it and the sort of system of logic that works within it is actually brilliant for novel writing. And it's also just brilliant for anyone if you just want to sort of check in in terms of self-care or self-therapy because these cards are so old that basically every human emotion you could think of, whether it's jealousy or pettiness or joy or that certain kind of joy that's tinged with a little bit of regret, like it's all in there. And um, it's just a great way to check in with yourself and with your friends. So Maeve is, probably the most similar character to me that I have written, which is probably not a great thing to admit because she doesn't always behave very well. Um, Maeve is like me, the youngest of a big family. Um, like me, she doesn't really enjoy school very much. She doesn't really get it um, and doesn't really have a kind of intelligence that's suited to that kind of learning. And those two things sort of come together with her feeling very lost in the shuffle in terms of having all these sort of like attractive, intelligent, charismatic older siblings, and then feeling sort of like a bit of a loser at school. So it sort of comes together to have, you know, quite a, you know, a sense of low self-esteem that she then covers by trying to be a little loud, trying to be a little, you know, trying a bit too hard. And sometimes that gets her in trouble, but she's a great person underneath, which I hope people think I am too. I kind of always thought that I would write for young people in the end. The kind of books that I love the most are um, sort of supernatural thrillers, like whether it's from kind of, you know, 20, 30 years ago, sort of Diana Wynne-Jones is a big one for me, Margaret Mayhew, who's from New Zealand, um, and also kind of newer books like Lee Bardugo and Sarah J Maas. I love huge supernatural worlds that are populated by young people who just want to do the right thing. Um, I, I love it because it has so much scope for imagination, but so much scope for, you know, hope and romance as well. I just think it's the most addictive form of fiction. And I love, I love reading it, so I love writing it. And I always knew I kind of would. I always think that with fiction, you're not trying to teach the reader, but you're trying to teach the character. So I would, I would hate for anyone to think I was preaching to them, um, but I would love for them to sort of see a little bit of themselves in Maeve's journey. Um, I would also love if it sort of demystified the tarot for people and, um, you know, maybe they could go out and buy a deck for themselves and learn it themselves, because I think it's just a great way to hang out with your friends. It's a great way to check in on yourself. Um, and I think in the early chapters as well, there's a lot of, you know, how to, how to teach tarot, how to learn tarot that could be quite useful. <laughs>